Numbers chapter 1. And the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of the congregation on the first day of the second month in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take you the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel after their families by the house of their fathers with the number of their names, even male by their poles, from twenty years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall number them by their armies, and with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you of the tribe of Reuben. Eluzer, the son of Shedur, of Simeon, Shalimiel, son of Jereshadai, of Judah, Nashon, the son of Amminadab, of Issachar, Nathaniel, son of Zuar, of Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon, of the children of Joseph, of Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Amminahud, of Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Peduzer, of Benjamin, Abidan, the son of Gideonai, of Dan, Hezer, the son of Mishadai, of Asher, Pagiel, son of Akron, of Gad, Eliphaz, son of Duel, of Naphtali, Ahira, son of Enan. These were the renowned of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of the thousands in Israel. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward by their poles. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. And the children of Reuben, Israel's oldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Reuben, three and six thousand and five hundred, of the children of Simeon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered of them, according to the number of the names by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. Of the children of Gad, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Gad, were forty and five thousand six hundred and fifty. Of the children of Judah, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Judah, were three score and fourteen thousand and six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Zebulun, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Zebulun, were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by the generations after their families, by the house of the, their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were forty thousand five hundred. Of the children of Manasseh, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, 
were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Dan, by their generations, after their families, the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Dan, were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war, those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred of the children of Naphtali throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Naphtali, were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. So were all those that were numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war in Israel, even all they that were numbered were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But the Levites, after the tribe of their fathers, were not numbered among them. For the Lord had spoken to Moses, saying, Only you shall not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. But you shall appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all things that belong to it. They shall bear the tabernacle, and all the vessels thereof, and they shall minister to it, and shall encamp round about the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle sets forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levites shall set it up. And the stranger that comes near shall be put to death. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, throughout their hosts. But the Levites shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony, that there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel, and the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of testimony. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So did they.